Today is July 26, 2013. You're watching Speedrun. Activision Blizzard is breaking up with parent company Vivendi Universal. The company announced it will buy itself back for $8.17 billion. Bobby Kotick will remain CEO of the newly independent company. Earlier this week, Vivendi was in talks about possibly extracting a $3 billion special dividend from Activision, but the separation comes after months of discussion. Activision is expected to reveal more details in an earnings call next week. While the biggest name in Madden is the titular coach himself, one of the game's original developers is now hoping to finally get his due. Robin Antonick has been locked in a legal battle with publisher Electronic Arts in hopes of receiving tens of millions of dollars in credit for his work on the series. His case is currently in its second phase as a jury has sided with Antonick in his contention and may reward him up to $11.6 million according to his legal counsel. This decision only covers his work in Madden games from 1990 to 1996, but Antonick will attempt to prove that EA has continued to use his work in the franchise since 1996. Our own Sumit Sarkar is on the case. Find out what goes on off the virtual football field. The FIFA series has garnered a hefty amount of praise over the years, so how is the team behind FIFA 14 contributing to that trend? EA Canada, the team behind the upcoming entry in the soccer franchise, says their philosophy this year is to avoid gimmicky, marketable features and focus on the fundamentals. Believing it's what longtime fans truly care about, EA Canada is working on fine-tuning shooting mechanics and teammate AI even if EA's marketing still needs to assign buzzwords to these upgrades. While we went hands-on with the game and found it felt more like an enhanced version of FIFA 13, this seems to fall exactly in line with EA Canada's goals. So don't worry, series fans, FIFA 14 will not mess with the experience you love. Our latest Today I Played features Chris Plant playing Earth Defense Force 4. Today, we're playing Earth Defense Force 4, a Japanese import of a hideous game in which you kill bugs. And by bugs, I mean actual giant bugs, and also bugs in the game, because it's not the best made game. And it only cost me $100 to import it from Japan. And you made it, it's Friday, go home. Have a good weekend, Polynauts.